have you bought you a Rode pod mic and a budget audio interface or a similar microphone for that matter? Thinking that you're going to have a good audio setup, come to find out that you're struggling to get the levels out of the microphone. Unfortunately, a microphone like the pod mic takes a lot of preamp gain to get proper levels out of it. Shure SM7B is another one, but you've bought a budget audio interface and you come to find out that your budget audio interface just doesn't have enough power to push a mic like this to get proper levels in your broadcast or recording software without buying something like a gain booster, which is hard to find right now. And they're very expensive uh, if you can find them. So I'm going to show you how you can set this microphone up that I'm currently using to get the proper levels in OBS studio with a simple tweak and proper setup. And these principles really apply toward any microphone setup. I'm going to walk you through how I set up this microphone for my own software using my budget audio interface, Scarlett 2i2, which does not have enough preamp gain to give you the proper levels without some extra tweaking on the back end. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. All right, everybody. So once you get your microphone set up, which you, you know, you need to hook your microphone up to your cable, hook your cable up to your, to your interface, and then you need to get the gain adjusted so that you can get a level of about where I'm showing right now in the meter at OBS. And that is somewhere in the mid yellow, depending on how loud you talk, it could get right into the red, but that's about where you want it. But here's the issue. If you have a budget interface, sort of like what I have here, or say something like a presonus audio box uh, with a mic like the uh, pod mic here, or with a, say an SM7B, uh, which, you know, let's be honest, if you have an SM7B, you probably shouldn't be buying a budget interface, but a pod mic being a hundred dollars, you get an interface that's a hundred, $150. Uh, it's not, you know, uh, inconceivable, but you wouldn't do that. But problem with these right here. And, and as you can see, I have the gain turned all the way up. And unfortunately, you got two things now that you have to worry about. Number one, you have to worry about clipping. If you get too, too close to the mic and you start talking like that, you might start clipping. And another thing, too, is it's just super sensitive and you're picking up a lot of background noise. You're getting white noise from the preamp because it's turned all the way up. And on top of that, uh, you know, any plosives or anything like that, because you have to, you're still, you still have to get real close to the microphone will be amplified. So. Here's what we would have to do as we would have to turn the gain down. What I recommend you do is just listen to uh, if you have a monitor output such as this right here, I could turn this on and then monitor my output and listen to where the noise goes away. So you just turn this gain down. Okay. Till you get the noise to go away. Now I'm at about 75% now. Uh, you know, on my gain, uh, which is okay uh, because now the noise isn't there like it was before, but now I have to get really close to the microphone to get any levels out of, out of my microphone. So that's the problem that we have to deal with here. And that's why I recommend if you can buy a gain booster, um, I recommend the Clark Technic CT1. The issue with those are they are really popular right now and very hard to come out with the way supply and demand is right now with everything going on. Or you can go spend more money and get something like a Fethead or a Cloud Lifter, which is significantly more than the CT1 and gives you the same basic performance. So here's what I recommend you doing. And this will work for pretty much anybody because these are built into OBS and they are free. First thing we need to do. Uh, and I'm going to get real close to the mic so that so that I have enough level that you can understand me. I do apologize that way. We will fix that very quickly. All right. So go to your mic over here. I right, click on the gear icon. Okay. And let's go and open the filters UI. And under audio filters, you're going to click a plus sign. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some gain to this microphone. All right. So I'm looking at my monitor right now my meter here and I'm about, about minus 30 so I want it to get up to about minus 15 minus 10 so let's add I'd say let's go about 17 dB again here okay so now the mic is showing up and it's about minus 15 minus 10 and every now and then when I get loud you see me going into the red just a little bit that's fine that's about what we want right there that is good for game okay 
So we're listening. Okay, the gain is good. It's a great level um, for your viewers to be able to get good volume, uh, be able to hear you uh, clearly without having to turn their uh, device all the way up. But now you do inject noise. You may have background noise going on, whether it's an AC running in the background, which you may hear because of my AC is running right now, or CPU fans, that sort of thing. Okay, so there's a great thing now in OBS that we can use to get rid of that without destroying your voice. So let's go and add a noise suppression filter. And by default, it's going to choose the RN noise, noise suppression. This is AI-based noise suppression, much like uh, RTX Voice, but this is built into OBS Studio. Version 27, if you really like RTX Voice, that will now be added to the new version of OBS once it comes out. But we already have RN noise. Personally, I think it's better. Okay, but anyway, we have that. Now, that's going to get rid of that background noise or any of that noise that you were hearing, the white noise, that'll go away. So now you should have a nice clean mic. Now, three things. Good distance, using your hand and you're, you're stretching your, your pinky and your thumb out to do that. And then that's the distance you should try to be for your microphone. Boosting the gain up to get your level to where it's showing up currently inside of the meter. And then adding a noise suppression using the RN noise, which is a really good AI based suppression. Those three things are really the basics for what you would need to get a good mic sound using a basic interface and an XLR mic like the pod mic. Pod mic is a very, very, very popular mic right now. A lot of people are going to them because number one, they're very durable. They sound great and they're budget friendly. A hundred dollars, you get you a hundred dollar interface and you're good to go. Uh, but a couple of people like myself have that issue where you have to get the gain turned all the way up for this microphone because it is just power hungry. And then that, you know, injects noise and all that good stuff. So we need to crank that gain down. We need to add gain on the back end inside of OBS. That will help a lot with fixing your level issues that you may have. So listen, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. I would love to try to answer questions as you uh, may have them. Um, in case you're wondering what I was talking about with a gain booster, this is the Clark Technic gain booster. And now what I will do is I will plug that up and I will just give you an idea of what it will do for you. Check, 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 check. All right, so there you go. You can see now I got plenty. Actually, I might have a little too much here. Let me turn this down to, oh gosh, I'm at what, 45% maybe, 50% uh, gain somewhere. Uh, that's what this gain booster does, is it adds clean boost to your signal using uh, just your phantom power built into your audio interface. So you saw I went and turned the phantom power on right there. I've brought gain down a lot. Uh, you could even go a little lower if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted to make sure that you just had a nice clean signal with no background noise. And then what you could do is you can go on the back end here and just bring your gain up a little bit more just to get your levels up to where you want it. So that's, you know, that's, that's pretty good right there. Uh, so that is what the gain booster will do for you uh, by saving money. Now this, Normally retails, I think it's between, I would say 30 and $40 here in the U.S., but again, it's very hard to find, and I don't think there's going to have, they're not even estimated to have any stock on any of the stores that I shop that sells these for anywhere before the fall of this year, which is kind of crazy, but regardless, I mean, that's kind of where we're at right now with everything going on in the world with supply, uh, you know, the shortages throughout the world, so... Anyway, once these do come out, I definitely re definitely recommend if you have a pod mic to get one. Uh, but that is what it, what a game booster will do for you. All right, guys, that is it for the end of this video. I do appreciate everybody hanging out. Again, if this helped you out, listen, 
I do appreciate you if you hit the like, comment below, do everything you can to help feed that algorithm. I'd love for this video to go viral, I guess. So anyway, listen, but regardless, I hope this helps somebody out. And if it did, then show me some love by hitting the like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that bell for notifications so that you know when I have other videos that go live. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.